Goodbye. Who was it? Your secret lover. Hey, she looked like me. That's what she looks like. Only like blonde and less gobby. <laughs> I forgot you were coming home for lunch. Yeah, well, I just can't stay away from you, can I? Oh, I'm not complaining. The big day is nearly upon us. I think we're not getting married yet, love. No, but we've got stacks and hands to look forward to. How exciting is that? <laughs> now, look. No getting in trouble tonight. Getting battered and waking up in Benny Dorm with the dream boys and a bottle of baby oil. <laughs> oh. You're kidding, aren't you? I should be so lucky. I'm sure Michelle's determined to make my night boring as hell. I think you'll be doing shots over one side of the Rovers and we'll be by the jukebox knitting coals. It's... That's not Gail, is it, with an update on Harry? <laughs> Just someone from the wine merchants. Obviously, he forgot. Uh, I don't work at the Beast anymore. Mm. Uh, a penny you soon drop. Well, come to the end night tonight. It'll be a right lap. I told you. Carl can be a proper digger when she's all baby doll. Mm. I've got a date with Chelsea. He's in Portugal. The video call him, Mum. Get with it. I'm not sure you could do both. No, me and Ches, we've got the whole evening planned. We're both going to cook the same Nigella recipe, and then... Oh, I get it. So it's going to get mucky. Well, just remember you, licking your fingers and hygienic when you're baking, no matter what she gets up to. Mum! <laughs> no, then we're going to watch the same DVD and talk through it while we eat the same food, just like a big food together. Oh, that's so sweet, that. It's um, romantic. Heart? Hey. What's going on with your face? Well, it's the only one I've got, so... No, you look like you've lost a fiver and found a farthing. I've got a date with Caitlin tonight. Oh, she was a bit distant last time, wasn't she? She needs her head testing. Any girl would be proud to have you on their arm. Proper little pocket rocket, aren't you? Do you know what I'm saying? Not really. No. Do something special with her. I took her to the bistro last time. Look where that got me. All right, well, take her into town then. I'm saving my money for paints. Oh, I was just going to have a go then. It's just clicked. I bet he was the same. Who? Him that chopped his ear off. Van Gogh. Yeah. I bet he had some bird on the go. Let's say her name was Sharon. And I bet he was like, paint. Oh, Sharon. Sharon. Oh, paint. You were Dutch. So? So... I doubt he had a girlfriend called Sharon. It's an international name, Miss Sharon. Is it? Yeah. Look at Sharon Glass. She was foreign. <sighs> Craig, do you love her? I love Sharon Glass. Well, then what's more important? Her or Pin? I think it's an absolute genius idea. But then that's Carla all over, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, they put some foot on. Hey, what are you on about? Oh, how's little Harry? He's sleeping her. What's Carla done now? We were just discussing her head night. Mm. How are you today? Fine. Well, count me in. I feel like a night out. Well, I don't think so, Sarah, do you? I like a party, mate. Well, you're not going. Why? Who's going to look after little Harry? Well, you don't want to go, do you? Well, not really, but I kind of have to. I'm doing the hen's nails. I've been press ganged. Well, you could look after him for me. Sarah? What? Carla wants me there. Anyway, we've grown very close lately. I mean, I'm like an unofficial Love older sister. She'd be devastated if I didn't turn up. I mean, I can't do that to her. Not today, to be cruel. Well, I'm going to be her sister-in-law. You've got a new baby to look after who was only in hospital yesterday. Yeah, well, he said he's fine. Typical mother, eh? Just overreacting. And Carla wouldn't want you deserting your post. Yeah, but, Mum, you're going to be working all day. You'll be knackered. You know you get grouchy. She can have a disco nap. It always works for me. Yeah. I'll have a disco nap. Never had one of those. So, Sam, you worked out where Tim's taking you yet? Mm, have you given you any clues? Oops, some of them are quite cryptic, actually. I thought I couldn't read and write. Well, it is true that once upon a time he was literally challenged, but he's come on leaps and bounds with my hot dancing. Hey, Mrs. Connor, you looking forward to tonight? Can't wait. Rogues, isn't it? Me and do. Yeah? Yeah. It's open house, isn't it? Right, you know, it's just going to be a very sedate affair, shall we? Uh, it's going to be dead for you, Sam. Go no, on. read my lips. Really low-key. That's what she thinks. Mm, stuff her, then I won't go. 
So come on, Sal, run those cryptic clues by me, eh, my precious? Okay, clue one. Back to mine, no back to Amy's. The actor Jack or the price slash Friday. What? This is freaking me out. Is he right, clues for that old game show we just did in? Oh, three, two, one. Clue two. A game on felt, jump in, but mind the chlorine. Is Sally on drugs? Has Tim written these? He's Tim on drugs. You'd have to be to live with her. Tim's giving the clues on where he's taking an order. Oh, right. Personally, I think he's got Porta Banu's pencil then. Uh, why is that? Well, because I've dropped a few Porta Banu-style hints. Mm. And how'd you do that? Well, we're watching a programme on it, and I said I'd like to go there. It's Blackpool, isn't it? Is it? Uh, Tim wouldn't have to Blackpool. Back to mine, no, back to Amy's. Well, Amy Winehouse did an album called Back to Black. A game played on felt, pool, and you get chlorine in a swimming pool, so... It 